Thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Radio Show, a once proud member of the now defunct Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. The Basement Lounge podcaster, Mike Shea, sticks around to guest co-host. Our good friend, the ever-dependable Kevin Rupert, is in to tell us about upcoming comedy shows. If you enjoy the show, like and follow the Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter. Or tune in live on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM. Or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. Overwhelms me. A brutal presence. All right. Hey, uh, welcome back to the Life uh, Radio Show, or welcome to the Life Radio Show if you're just now turning in. 10237. Turning in. 10237. Thank you, Patrick. 10237. That's uh, We take longer that's, breaks. That's your lottery number. That's the yeah. winning lottery numbers. Yes. Yeah. Stay tuned <laughs> next week because I just won the lottery and I won't be here. <laughs> uh, Mike Shea is still sitting in as my my lovely assistant. Can't get man. These compliments co-host. just keep getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> <laughs> and the wonderful? spectacular Kevin Rupert. What's up, man? Isn't, I'm just trying to spread the love, man. That's now all. you just, just now you're just ripping off Spider Man comics. <laughs> really spectacular. Oh, spectacular okay. Spider. Okay, whatever. You know, yeah, what? I don't. I don't. I don't. Wrong audience. Wrong yeah, audience for me. Read all right. Comics. I don't. I barely read read a book <laughs> <laughs> well, i read books just not comics because that's that's not a book they're anymore. shorter they're easier to read i love books though but, yeah. Yeah. exactly exactly but let's discuss that welcome to book talk welcome to book uh talk. kevin rupert is in <laughs> what's up man what what's up with you uh, not a whole lot you, you're just... not you don't have to worry about being fired as guest co-host today oh so, sweet because you're just a guest it's so, uh, yeah. such a relief I can i'm on the, the fence yeah, right kind of yeah you can be yeah. yourself you don't that's have right. to yeah that's you don't right. have no to fake it or i gotta try and impress this guy yeah yeah who patrick sure Patrick, <laughs> patrick's easily impressed it's all right look a distraction <laughs> yeah, yeah it's shiny no. <laughs> just yeah, kidding patrick. i'm trying to figure out why my book bag smells like lavender oil and i realized i left my lavender oil in there from a vacation and never that, took it out <laughs> that would explain it you have a lot of you you go on vacation with your lavender lavender oil oil oral yeah it helps me sleep. Lavender <laughs> oral. Oral. <laughs> oral. Yeah. helps me sleep at night well, lavender know. oral helps all of us sleep that <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah. Yep, oral does help help you sleep. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Release I'm a lot trying of to figure out why my wife just tried to call. Like she doesn't know at eight ten on a Tuesday, I'm not going to be on the air. <sighs> I heard you talking about lavender oral, and she yeah. just wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm interested. Get oral from now? <laughs> she sensed the disturbance in the yeah. force. <laughs> yep, yep. Just remember, at least you don't have to spit the seeds. Out. <laughs> 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 oh. <Yeah. laughs> My favorite part of the show is always the beginning of the second hour when we make references to the first hour. And the <laughs> that new nobody guest gets. Has and no then I idea. put it out as two separate podcasts. <laughs> and that entices them if they listen to the next one that, that they have to go back and get all the inside jokes by listening to the first half. One can hope. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> they, they'll just stop listening. And just say, this is all inside jokes. They're doing this show for themselves. <laughs> I don't get paid. Of course I'm doing this for myself. Right. <laughs> They're not doing this for anybody right. else. Exactly. Well, that was the whole purpose of this show initially was so I could stay connected to the comedy community when I wasn't able to do a lot of shows. Yeah. No, I get it. So, yeah. So that's 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 why I've been here for over four and a half years now. Going on five years, Patrick. Going oh on God. five years. Wow. I've been wasting my life here I'm at like. Wright State, including getting a degree, just wasting my money and my life. <laughs> <laughs> and spending your time in uh, the HVAC department. Well, yeah, that that was definitely a waste. Aww. <laughs> Bird, <laughs> spent a lot of time there wasted too. Second <laughs> second shift, there are no rules. <laughs> oh, if only that were true. No, they 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 still have rules. You just it's harder to get caught. But Rupert, what's, so what's going Rupert's on, here. man? Yeah, Kevin Rupert's here for the third time. We'll announce that, <laughs> and then we'll talk to him. Okay? Yeah, no, that it's is. it's going good, man. It's um, I've been doing stand up a lot lately, uh, which has been fun. Yeah, you, you got to host at Wiley yeah, the other yeah, week. Was, and, then, uh, and then you hosted the, the uh, Sunday Comics the following week. Yeah, weekend, so, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was uh, – and then uh, a week before the DJ Dangler hosting weekend, I was doing um, Most Offensive and then the roast and stuff. So, uh, And then just been doing some shows around uh, town and around the area, and it's been it's been fun. Yeah, you, you, you did the Most Offensive show – 
seeing you on there kind of surprised me because you you, <laughs> you haven't been that offensive. But I have to say, your nine eleven jokes were fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, <God. laughs> Thanks, he did his whole set on nine eleven, and it was just yeah, that was a sentence uh, yeah. you don't get to hear very often. Your nine eleven jokes <laughs> <Yeah>. were. <laughs> I, Enough you, time has passed. It's been what eighteen, almost eighteen years. Yeah, right, we yeah. can joke about. Although it. Although every time I do those jokes, though, there's always one person in the crowd who yells out too soon, and I'm like, "It's been eighteen years." I don't know yeah, what to tell and you. They're man. probably they're probably of an age where they had <laughs> to read about it anyway. You that's know? true. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's a good yeah. point. We gonna do yeah. next? Throw but, some throw some challenger jokes their right, way. Yeah, so that's I mean, right. Exactly, yeah. yeah, some real edgy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> World War Two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we, I, we actually covered that in the most offensive. Oh, show, really? Too. Oh, yeah, right. I believe uh, Travis Charles had some, had oh, some good man. Holocaust oh, jokes. Not surprising. <laughs> you know, not and surprising. I, I, I had some good uh, Native American trail of tears. That's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so we really. That's why it was most offensive because we I, we covered a lot of ground. We covered I, a lot of ground. That I, a lot of people would have said. I got a new bit about how much sex I'm not having. I mean, <laughs> is that really a new bit? No, it's not. Yeah. It's not at all. It's in the same vein as everything else. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to say vain in front of you, Don. I know you're sensitive right yeah. now. Yeah, that's okay. Patrick said something about a snippet earlier, and that was. <laughs> it was just. <laughs> I'll just I'll just I'll just, and, I'll just and, trim that one short. So. And the Walmart thing. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Cut so that we'll, one short. We'll just, we'll just trim it short. It's fine. Yeah. Well, nothing nothing got shortened, just snipped. Snipped, snipped and, and snipped. burned. Snipped yeah. and burned. Okay. Yeah. Lightly toasted. The old <laughs> snip and burn. Mm. That's smell something, smell something, Oh yeah, you you smell that. You smell that when you're in there. It's, it's uh, you, you get the so full it smells like full, when it gets hot. You get the full experience <laughs> when you're in there, you know. Oh, see, I got I got to stretch. All this <laughs> Or you could smoke. For those who can't see what we're seeing right now, we keep having to watch Don stand up and stretch him out. That was on camera just now, so they got to see that, too. (laughs) On Facebook, at least, yeah. Yeah, if you're watching on Facebook Live, we only have one person watching. At least play a song and do a dance. Come on, it's not me. Mm -hmm. It's not you? No, it's not me. You're you're not even sharing this for all of your adoring I shared the link. Oh, okay. I just put my phone here so it's out of my hands. And also doesn't oh, like messing with this thing. It's usually Scotty just out of your it. hands. Yeah, Scotty. Usually, usually Scotty's yeah. got it so he can do his own Facebook live because you yeah. know he's got to try and put your audience. So much better, right? Just because he's yeah. got viewers. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, like we need those on this show. <sighs> we need to get that. So, hey, call Kevin Mafia. Rupert's here. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, that is the title of this show. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, hey, hey, Kevin hey, Rupert's here. I'll, I'll take it. But no, I was going to say, Don, you should have done uh, what Katie Kirk did with the colonoscopy, and you should have done like a live stream oh, of your vasectomy, <laughs> to, uh, like a special for the, for the radio show. You know who did Just that? A, I think it was Katie Kirk. Yeah. She, she did a live she, she did colonoscopy a live thing. Vasectomy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a shocking moment. But yeah, no, she uh, it was a colonoscopy, I think, and they uh, the Today Show had a whole thing there, and they did a whole. I th- yeah, I think I remember that. I got I got one of those coming up. Too, and those are really not well, a live yeah, show, show of a colonoscopy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you don't Katie have Kirk's those? actually. <laughs> I, yeah, she, she's performing. It. Yeah, she, she's because uh, with friends like her, who needs enemas? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, no. One of the things I was thinking about doing, speaking of doing weird stuff live uh, and recording it, I'm actually <laughs> thinking about getting my first tattoo. Oh, as part of the podcast interesting and, and like- interviewing the because I, I have a tattoo artist that i spoke to that also is in a band he's in he's in several bands he's a musician i, I heard him i heard him play fantastic but he, one of his bands he calls uh trash grass okay. which is a combination of heavy metal and bluegrass oh i'm, I'm so <laughs> in I'm as soon so as i heard this. that i was like dude and you're a tattoo artist i want to talk to you while you're sticking needles at me that's yeah. really what i want to do right now not not the not the heroin no, uh, the other, no. other that's needles. before the cameras right. get turned on. Right, exactly. <laughs> you gotta, we gotta do something in here. <laughs> so, I keep like, playing with you, my news stories, we're not ready for it yet. Are you thinking about actually bringing him in and tattooing you while not you're doing in your here? Show? I'm oh, thinking okay. about going to. He has a shop in Yellow Springs. I'm thinking about trying to set it up and doing just doing a pre-record, not doing a live. That would be cool episode. That way, I can edit out all the crying. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so it's Which, still gonna be like ten seconds long. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be at the end. Go, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you want to get yet? I I, I have some ideas. He's kind of I, I threw him some ideas, and he's kind of kicking them around and looking at some stuff. I, okay. I can I can share some of them with you, but uh, he he's kicking around some ideas to cool. try to make my idea come to life and then make it a part of me. But I, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sold on it yet. But I'm a big fan of tattoos. So. Yeah, 
How many do you have? I have none. I have I have one on my right bicep that I got right before I moved to Ohio. Uh, it's like a going away thing with a friend of mine. That I have plans for more. They're just they're they're expensive. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's they, nice. Because like down south they weren't too, they weren't too expensive because a lot of them down there like tattoo parlors were only legal in South Carolina for like five years before I left. Wow. They yeah they weren't legal for very long. Up here you get the guys who are professional artists who do tattooing to pay the bills so they're <laughs> so really yeah, they're good gonna, yeah, but they're, they're really, really going to charge for it. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. But you know if, which makes sense. You yeah. get what you pay for. I'm it. I'm not looking at it like I can't believe they cost so much. I'm looking at it like I can't believe I don't make enough to get one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean I believe it but you know. Well yeah. Rupert any tattoos? Uh tramp stamp. That's uh that's the only one I got. Um, of what? Else. what it, oh, that's I mean, not I don't, a joke. I'm not saying it's a little. No, I, I, I'm, it's a joke. I, uh, I'm not saying. No, I'm no, not I, saying show it. I'm just telling you know, asking what it is. I'm saying it's, show it. It's a it's yeah. a butterfly, and okay. uh, it's well, pretty that, sexy. That makes yeah. perfect sense. I was like, yeah, it when, I look, at, when <laughs> I look at Rupert, I think of a, a butterfly tramp stamp. Of course, I I might actually have to get one. I'm gaining a little weight, so with this Padonka you know, I gotta gotta add some flair or something. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you, besides, if you get a butterfly now, it could be a pterodactyl in a few years. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I'm gonna have to consider it. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Hey, we we could we could get that over the air too. We could. Okay. Yeah. Let's just all pick tattoos. We'll make it a whole yeah. big thing. We'll all go get tattooed yeah. for the show. Yeah. <laughs> We'll borrow some of DATV's equipment. We'll get it. We'll get I it was on TV. Say, too, you need to yeah. get it on video. Yeah. Too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Keith, oh, Keith I, Irvin would love to shoot that. Are you kidding? Oh me? yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I actually, I, I always Especially the butterfly tramp. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all sold on that right now. <laughs> I always have been curious, like uh, how painful it is to get a tattoo, because I, you hear people talk about it, and some people say it's bad. Some people are a little, you know, not so much. It, I don't know. Uh, After last week, I don't think it'll be that painful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, your frame of reference is yeah, in the right it's, it's place. Changed yeah. a little bit. So it's I, like... I, I can say it depends on it depends on where you get it and what you're having done and okay. how. Right, and the, I'd like, imagine the uh, like yeah, the, yeah the, the the three block letters I got on my on my on my right arm didn't hurt that much and it didn't take very long. But that's also a meatier part of the body. Right, mm-hmm. if you're getting it like on the on the underside of your arm right here, yeah, where it's a lot more, more sensitive, sensitive and, yeah. that'll hurt like hell or. People who get them like up here around the collarbone, there's a lot of bone there. Right, that will hurt like a son of a gun. So, sure, yeah. sure. It, it also depends again on like how long you're there, how much they're doing. Because I, th- I think, I think the lines hurt a bit more because it's thinner and it's kind of like it's. Whereas with the filling in, it's a thicker, wider needle, and it's a bit more blunt, so the pain's a bit more spread out. Right. Um, Not imagine so, it just kind of gets numb after a little while. Like, eventually, you just kind of stop noticing it. It's just kind of like being like lightly pinched for a long time eventually right. you're kind of like okay, and who doesn't is... love that right yeah no it's great it's great <laughs> every tuesday but you know it's definitely a pleasurable sensation <laughs> but yeah so it just depends on what you're getting done gotcha gotcha because i yeah i've been thinking about it for a while you know i figure i might as well yeah. make my midlife crisis complete with a tattoo yeah yeah, sure. yeah. yeah then i'm gonna get my motorcycle of course and <laughs> Tattoo, motorcycle, right, exactly. Nineteen-year-old Asian girlfriend, you know. That's <laughs> well, yeah. That's actually I'm working on, that, working on that. Working on that. That which which is funny because I actually made fun of my brother several years ago when he from have never having tattoos or anything. He actually he has a Harley now. He's got tattoos on both arms. Oh, he and, crashed yeah. hard. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and it Ooh. all followed his divorce. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I did pick on him for getting. But, you know, it, it, living in yeah. a sad, sad man, one bedroom apartment. <laughs> no, he's actually doing good. He's, he's he? got six, he's got six acres. Just put in a pool. Oh, good for him. Yeah, he's got a pond out there. Just put in a pool. The good pond for him. For <laughs> <laughs> got a pool and a pond. Pond be good for you. <laughs> but no, no, he's he's got a great place out there because he was able to keep it, and it cost him a lot. It cost him a lot to keep it in the divorce. Uh, I'm sure it did. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. I, I don't. Even, I don't even want to think about the kind of numbers that he lost in that. All of them. Yeah. All, all of the yeah, numbers. Pretty much all of the numbers are gone, and he had to start over with no numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but he managed. He managed. He's, he's a workaholic. He's a hard working dude. He does does a lot of stuff. I have nothing but respect for him. But I did make fun of him getting tattoos and the motorcycle <laughs> as his midlife crisis. And now here I am, thinking, you know, that's. <laughs> I bought a comedy club. Let's get a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the bigger midlife crisis? Exactly. Yeah. At, some... le- at least he can sell the motorcycle <laughs> right. and get money back. Could sell some Wiley's comedy joint tattoos to get some money. 
Oh, sorry, sorry. I went to a, I went to a dark place there for a second. <laughs> no, not not the club. I'm talking about the ta- like tattoos. Right? Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. Wiley's tattoos. Yeah, I don't think you could. Can we sell that? Can we stop? Can we like charge people for getting a Wiley's tattoo? I, I mean, because I technically I would, yes. Yeah, well, I guess it is our logo. There's but, copyright things involved. But, you know, you if, if somebody wants to go out and get a Wiley's tattoo and advertise for us for free, you know, <laughs> knock right. yourselves out. Any, yeah, anybody absolutely. who sues over a tattoo lo- logo is, yeah. is a moron. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, if you, if you want a Wiley's tattoo, you, you have my permission to go do so. You know, knock yourself out. Rupert, I, you willing I'm, to get a Wiley's tattoo? I'm thinking about it. How... <laughs> How much, what would the rate be if I got it like right on my forehead? Like what's the, Ooh. like it, a lot like, of them go by hourly. Well, yeah. a lot of them, yeah, okay. just however okay. long you're in the chair and they're, and and they're sticking f- needles in your forehead. You got to yeah. factor in the yeah. amount of sex you're not going to have ever again. Right, right, right. The amount of work you're not going to get. Um, so, you know, it's all about right. what it's worth to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cause I, I think a Wiley's neck tattoo would be a little better. Than That's that. maybe <laughs> yeah, I could see that but better than the forehead, you know? Right, the forehead, right. you, you got to reserve the forehead for something more special. Something really, yeah, <laughs> yeah. like a something that's really, or, yeah. What's like, that? Like, like a pentagram, like yeah. L. <laughs> pentagram or yeah. L for loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's what I want on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be thug life, though. Like yeah. if you got that and you just didn't care, like yeah, because that'd be was, all I'd have left. Because I'd have right. no actual life at that point. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to find gainful employment. So I'd have to. I'd have to be a thug. I'd have no choice. You, that's right. when you really dedicate yourself to that. Oh yeah. There's actually exactly. a news story I read a while back about a woman that was that was studying. She was just starting out, kind of studying to be a tattoo artist. Mm-hmm. So she went out and got a forehead tattoo and neck t- and face tattoos, so that she would have no choice but to spend her life as a tattoo artist. Wow. Because she figured she, that that's dedication, right there. Yeah. That takes a lot. I heard about a guy, uh, this was a few years back, but he was trying to, uh, had a New Year's resolution to get in shape, and he hired a hitman to murder him if he didn't go to the gym, like for an entire year. Dude, that's, wow. Yeah, that's Dang. dedication right there. Right. Yeah, he didn't make it, did he? stuff like this sometimes. He, did, he, was, he was dead by January 3rd. <laughs> 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 I never, I didn't hear how it turned out, so yeah, he might have, he might have gotten That's hacked, That's why, because if it would have turned out well, he'd have shared that on right. social media, that's, that's right. no. That's right. Yeah, he didn't make it. He was he was he was gonna do a, he was gonna Facebook live his his uh, his trip to the gym and then suddenly the feed went went, went away. And... <laughs> so my, <laughs> while he sat on his couch <laughs> so watching my, another episode of I don't know whatever you know, my the, question, how to make a murderer the, the office <laughs> for the fourteenth time. My question is: I know it's illegal to hire a hitman to shoot somebody else, but is it illegal to hire a hitman to shoot you? Yes, because that's assisted suicide. Oh, Isn't it? Wasn't, it wasn't even a joke oh, yeah. there. I always thought it was going to do something funny. No, uh, it was a serious yeah. question. Getting real, okay. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. It's, Patrick it's got to do suicide. Funny <laughs> <laughs> I mess with you so much. He's not here to be funny. He's here to work. Exactly. Yeah, that's it. we want our so producers. We, can be funny. we want our producers work and not being funny. <laughs> What's well, our? So excuse. Rupert's here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, you have right. the, the barrel show coming up tomorrow, yeah, right? Uh, yeah, uh, day after tomorrow. Day after yep. tomorrow. That's right. Tomorrow's yeah. Tomorrow's a different day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Thursday, Thursday the fifteenth, the barrel yep. show at eight thirty at eight fifty seven West Spring West Central in Springboro. I've done that like three times this show. <laughs> West Springboro. That sounds like a bad neighborhood, right? West Springboro. I'm trying to think of what, where that location would. Uh, that's pretty nice. A yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, some bad residential yeah. stuff. You said Springboro. Yes, yeah, oh, Springboro. Okay. Yeah, down south off of it's like Route 73 off of I-75. Yeah. You get right there yeah. past past Shartz Road. So we're being clear. Right Springboro, right not Springboro. Bor- wow, that didn't Burrow. sound good. Burrow. Burrow. Spring donkey is yeah, spring donkey, donkey. <laughs> spring donkey, spring <laughs> jackass. That's what they are. It's a little late. We're all summer jackass. That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no, that that's always a fun show down at the barrel. Yeah, and you're I love raising. That show. Is that this one raising money? So, or, uh, I it, yeah, I, I did talk to um, the ownership there yesterday, and unfortunately, um, or, or well, not unfortunately, it's it's all up to the family. Uh, the family's not really ready to do a fundraiser type thing. Okay. Um, so they're going to do a s- separate event. Um at a later date that hasn't yet been determined and try and raise a lot of money for, uh, for Logan's family. Um, but, uh, BSO that I, I, I talked to them and they said, you know, for this one, let's just proceed kind of business as usual. Um, cause that's what they think Logan would want. Um, okay. and, uh, um, I, I, we were talking about it the other night. We actually spoke with him for about 15, 20 minutes after the April barrel of laughs show. Yeah. A bit. yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, having talked to him and seen how enthusiastic he 
was about like comedy in general and like the shows and stuff. Um, it sounds like that's that's probably what he would want. So so we're just gonna kind of go and you know give him the best show we can, kind of as a tribute, you know, to him. So uh, so yeah, hopefully hopefully everything goes good. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it down there. Yeah. Thanks. I got Logan. a busy week, but I think I think Thursday I, I have some time I can get down there for the show awesome. for a little bit of it anyway. Cause. I I didn't know Logan. I never I never met Logan, but a lot of people I know who who don't roll in the same circles seem to know this guy. Yeah, you know, people I work people I work at, at the news station with people I just other comics I know p- other like other bar everyone seemed to know this guy. Um, so it's, it's a shame that I never got to meet him myself, but um, yeah. Yeah, I, I was telling Mike, um, you know, before we came on for the second hour that um, I was talking to Dan Andrick last night, and he said that uh, Logan's been at pretty much every Barrel of Laugh show, which I wasn't aware of because oh, I, wow. I haven't yeah, seen him wild. there every time. I, I don't, I, I haven't, like, confirmed that. I don't know if it's 100% true or, or maybe, you know, he was there for a few of them or whatnot, but, but evidently he's been a pretty big supporter, you know, of the of the shows and everything else they do at the Barrel just because he uh, he worked there and uh, was really special to everybody, so... Uh, so yeah, it'll be it'll be nice to if, if we can you know make some people laugh and bring some levity into a place where you know uh, they've had a rough time of late. Yeah, so. yeah, because yeah, that, that that whole event, that whole tragedy hit a lot of people. Yeah, really hard, and uh, it's been it's it, sometimes it it takes a little while before you can laugh. Yeah, after something like that, yeah. and that's why. Yeah. We, I went down yeah, to uh, when I got back from my trip. I went downtown pay my respects and see how Ray was yeah. doing and all that and uh like you know the Oregon district it was there was people there I mean of course everybody was a lot of people crowded out in front of where the the memorial right. is and right but the Oregon district was alive and people were doing oh, stuff yeah. but there was still very much an air of just like yeah not this, sure it, it's like how do you get back to any sense of normalcy yeah. after that yeah, yeah and it, it, one of the things that, that struck me about it because I was like I said, we opened the club up uh, that Sunday after that, mm-hmm. and they had they had the vigil down there, and uh, it was just wa- walking around down there for a little while. There was a, uh, I mean, there was a feeling that there there's a, a feeling of a great sadness, but at the same time there was unity, and there there was there was just a, there was a mm-hmm. lot of just love for the city and love for each other down there. And Dayton, yeah. which is Dayton's shown a lot of that this year because we, we've had a it rough has. summer. Oh yeah. Between between the KKK rally, yeah. four days later we have the Memorial Day tornadoes, and now right. this. And I was talking to one of the one of the guys I work with, one of our one of our uh, on air talents, and he was just kind of like, you know, you you look at the way a lot of cities, not all, but a lot of cities, this kind of thing would happen, and they just they wouldn't know how to deal. But through each of these things that's happened, Dayton has has shown like just how much this kind of thing won't. Yeah. It, it won't rattle us. It, Dayton it'll, strong, man. Dayton yeah. strong. Yeah, and it's, I, a, it's a thing. I'm, yeah. I'm never really been a Dayton guy till recently. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm a small town. You know, I grew up in West Milton. When we lived I'm here a small a few town. Years, yeah, and you know. uh, just until I got involved with comedy, and then even more so when I became part of Wiley's. That's when I really yeah. And after after the things that Dayton's been through this year, I mean, I feel extremely connected to the city and it, I, I, it's it's a it's a wonderful place i don't, I don't it think it really, hit me until until this happened how much i really yeah. i really care about this time i've only lived here four or five years yeah and it didn't really hit me just how much i cared about this place until which it sucks that it took something like that to right. show me right. how much i love this town but mm. but there's a lot to love and there's a lot about this town to love absolutely and and i i was i was glad over this past weekend to see the oregon district packed out i mean yeah. there are a lot of people mm-hmm. down there just Ned, like ned's is back open and and yeah. you can tell they're hurting but they're still they're making they're trying to make the as best of it as they can and oh yeah because the last because the last thing you want is for something like this to take away your normal yeah and you yeah. want you want to get your normal back and the best yeah. way to do that sometimes is to just is just do what you normal yeah do exactly what, yeah that's again that's one of the reasons that sunday we wanted to we wanted to continue with the comics hang we wanted to stay open for the show even though we knew there were, wasn't going to be a lot of people sure oh yeah in there other than comics but that's well then having sometimes just having a couple normal things on a day where nothing seems real mm-hmm. yeah. is the the only way to get through it yeah and that was uh, i mean and then because i mean that's that's what they did on the Titanic when yeah. the ship was going down. the The band came on the deck and played their violins and stuff, and 
Yeah. Um, you know, that's what that's what you got to do sometimes. And apparently that helped calm a lot of the passengers down. It did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we had John Legend come down. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Saturday night. Saturday yeah. night. And no, Sunday night. Sunday, Sunday night, night. Sunday night. And he played that. He did. He, he spoke and then he played that little impromptu show at Bob's yeah. and. Which I wish I could have been there for. That would have been awesome. Yeah. But we we were we were packed at Wiley's that Sunday night. Were you we, really? We ha- we actually because nobody made reservations. Well, we no. had we had the curtain open. We had people up in the back, and we had to, we had to stop letting people in because Are two two servers me? two servers could not handle it. Wow, that on a wow, yeah, yeah, it yeah. was a big crowd, and that's that's that's, that's fireworks the, level that, numbers. That's mm-hmm. the second time we've had to do that on a Sunday comics in probably mm-hmm. two months. Wow. Where we've actually it, it, had to say we can't take any more people in because we're so packed. Well, we're it, actually we're getting ready to do to where it's eight dollars at the door. I was going to say it, it's, not time, it's time to increase because, your price. Yeah, that's well a little bit. Well, not necessarily increase because we just want people to make reservations. Because yeah. when oh, you I come see. in on a yeah. Sunday and you have fourteen reservations, and the next thing you know, eighty people are at your door. Yeah. Mm. That's how do you gonna, plan for that? Right, you okay, can't plan that makes for sense. that. That's yeah. why we had two servers. So you start pulling start, comics yeah. over and saying you're a server now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we were. Close. You want to get? You want to get we're, paid tonight? <laughs> we were close. Well, was it, uh, Amy? Amy Dolph. Oh, was yeah. in there. We about we about pulled her and pulled her and said you're going to run drinks, but we right. didn't. We didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, and I, I think a lot of that's for two reasons. One, like we've been talking about, people are wanting something to. They want their normal. They want their normal. Their normal. But also, I mean, just word has been spreading. Yeah. This in the past year with everything going on, how the Wiley Sunday show is, yeah, like like yeah. honest to God, it's one of the best comedy shows you mm-hmm. can go to. Oh yeah, yeah. it's it's I, I love I love Wiley Sunday. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. All right, we better go ahead and take a break. Okay, uh, you got us queued up. Yes, I do. All right, this this is going to be another another song from St. Mary St. Michael. This what? is uh, Do I Love You Less, also off the uh, the the upcoming album Another Anodyne. Can't wait to hear it. All right. Disconnect is there something 
this is Don Smith from the Life Radio Show. Do you like telling jokes? Are you the class clown? Do your friends always tell you you're funny? You want to prove them wrong? Well, nearly every Sunday, Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in Dayton's Oregon District brings you Wiley's Sunday Comics. You can be the one on stage making people laugh or not. All you have to do is send an email to WileySundayComics at gmail.com and follow the instructions in the reply email and you can tell jokes at Ohio's oldest comedy club. A brutal presence overwhelms me. A brutal presence overwhelms me. I'm ready to get old. I am. You know why? I grew up with an Atari 2600. The... Yeah, that's right. One of the joysticks on that. Same joystick on a hover around scooter. And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten, four flushing, low life, snake licking, dirt eating, inbred, overstuffed, ignorant, blood. Sucking, dog kissing, brainless, dickless, hopeless, heartless, fat ass, bug eyed, stiff legged, spotty lip, worm headed sack of monkey ish he is. Hallelujah. All these ish. Where's the Tylenol? <laughs> All right. I, I love that rant. One of the greatest yeah. rants in comedy ever. It's just, oh. Is that like an actual meltdown or was that scripted? Oh, I'm pretty like, sure that was. It's scripted. in a movie. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, it's I'm a pretty movie, sure yeah. that was. Because one thing, as much as I like Chevy Chase, he was never too good at ad lib. No. That's, that's why he did not do well as a uh, late night talk show host, which he tried briefly. Yes, yeah, that's he right. Did. did not yeah. do well. No. Because yeah, that's, that's, uh, to, to be a host of a show mm-hmm. takes a special kind of lunacy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like me and like Don. Exactly. Exactly. Or you can just quote unquote hire a bunch of guys to write your jokes for you. Uh. That's oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, well, sorry, the roast not, is over. Sorry. Not really higher because you don't pay them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so you enslaved them. Uh, uh, love you, Andrew. <laughs> was, I, I was going to say, I actually watched an episode of the Chevy Chase thing one time on YouTube because I was curious because I had heard how bad it was, and it was god-awful. Yeah. Like, it was yeah, so it's bad. Not good. Like, he looked so uncomfortable, and it just, like, the whole thing. And the interviews were weird. Very, yeah. very unusual. So. Yeah, he's a, he's a very talented comedic actor that does not always translate to being funny on no, your own. No. Right. Not always. No. I mean, but hey, there's there's comedic acting mm-hmm. and there's doing stand up. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. I always say that you can be a you can be a comedian. People think they're that comedians and comics are the same thing and they're not. I think I think comedian is just somebody who works in comedy. Right. Comedy actor, comedy writer, comic, a comic is what we yeah, that's the stand up. That's comic, the stand up yeah. part. So all comics are comedians. Not all comedians are comics. No, that, 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 is, that is true. That yeah. is true. Uh, should should we hit some news stories? Oh please! Do you want to make a guess? Um, something <laughs> in Florida. No. Oh come on! But it does involve a reptile sanctuary. Oh, see, I almost said wild animal. Yeah, a Pennsylvania reptile sanctuary sanctuary shared a video of a snake that had to be rescued from itself. When it swallowed several inches of its, inches of its own tail, the, <laughs> the forgotten friend reptile sanctuary shared video of uh, Jesse Rothaker helping out an eastern king snake that became a real life Ouroboros by swallowing ten inches of its own tail. You can swallow ten inches—that's impressive. <laughs> ten inches of your own. Uh, <laughs> Did he have to have part of his ribs removed? I yeah, mean, I, I believe so. This is I believe the uh, Marilyn so. Manson of snakes. Yes. yes. <laughs> Uh, Rothaker said it's not unusual for a confused king snake to bite itself, but it's uh, rare they manage to swallow their own tails. Uh, They will sometimes see their own tail, they'll think it's a snake, and they'll take a bite out of it, and then they'll realize they bit themselves, uh, said the rescuer in the footage. uh, Apparently, this one just went ahead and said, nope, I'm going all out. Oh, that's really good. Oh, wait, that's me. Oh, oh. Yep. I taste delicious. Yes. <laughs> Either that or I'm done with I'm, this world. I'm nice and succulent. <sighs> <sighs> so uh, I'm going to let that one go because I don't know if that one's radio appropriate. Never no, right. probably, <laughs> not, probably not. Probably not. A pair of Maine police officers came to the rescue of a skunk by, quote, tactically removing an ice cream cup stuck on the small creature's head. 
let it go. Yeah, just, the, just let it. You can get more ice cream. Yeah, <laughs> tactically removed. The Bridgeton Police Department said officers Sophie Switek and uh, jo- Josh Muise aided the skunk Sunday morning by tactically removing a McFlurry cup stuck on its head. Whoa, a video whoa, shared whoa, by the, the machine was working. <laughs> no, it just had the cup. That's why it was just the cup. What happened is they actually hit the machine to get it into the cup, and a skunk fell out of the machine so and got his head stuck. That's why it's yeah. always broken. Yeah, there's a skunk stuck in it, oh, and man. nobody knew the difference because it always smelled like McDonald's. A video shared by the department showed the officers uh, throwing a jacket over the skunk to prevent it from running away or spraying them with its foul scent. Uh, Swiatek uh, then plucks the ice cream cup from the animal's head. How sweet! Oh yeah. man, yeah, I didn't think yeah. about I didn't think about the whole uh, ice cream machine at McDonald's never working. That was a different angle. Now I we know. That. Yeah, you're welcome. You can use that one. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll God knows when I'll be on stage it. again. <laughs> yeah. What was the location again? Where was it at? Uh, this one was in Maine. In Maine, one, yeah, that's Brid- like Bridgeton, Maine. That's like the main equivalent of like wrestling, wrestling an alligator, basically. Like, yeah. like trying yeah. to yeah, take taking a McFlurry cup yeah. off a skunk's head. <laughs> oh, we need that close <laughs> to Canada. I mean, yeah, yeah might as well. But it, that's terrifying, man. Because uh, yeah. if you get sprayed by one of those things, you're pretty much you're you're gonna smell oh, yeah. that for you're a done. long time. Yeah, I, year, years ago I was out at the Grand Canyon. We there's the the Bright Angel Lodge. We were having dinner. Uh, it was me and the ex wife at the time, and we uh, we were, weren't exes yet, but. We were having dinner, and uh, I started to, uh, like, uh, we better wrap this up. Because <laughs> what had happened is I I could I could kind of tell there was a smell going around. Right. But it was There was a skunk that actually got into the dining room and sprayed a waitress. Wow. Lovely. And wow. it was right. We would got done eating. I just got the bill. It's like, well, it's time to go. <laughs> right crazy. before it happened, we were cashing out and heading out the door. Oh, man. Like yeah, that that's, yeah, you that's get a nasty thing. Yeah. yeah, but uh, I mean, for the main police officers, it was between taking the. They had two <laughs> dilemmas going on. They either had to take a McFlurry cup off a of skunk's head or put right. a condom on a moose. There that's was one. <laughs> that was they had the choice. Yeah. There's that was no that. winners. I right? Mean. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, it's honestly, like pick your poison. <laughs> Honestly, in that scenario, I'm going condom on moose. Exactly. Well, that's, yeah, because it seems the more interesting and the less stinky. Less stinky, yeah. l- uh, slightly lower risk overall. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't maybe know. not. A, a moose can maul thing. you. You can get mauled by a moose that's, while you're putting a condom on it. I, it's just it's true. not something I would recommend. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. I'll reconsider. <laughs> I'm also thinking about the yep. tramp stamp again. I- <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. You know what? Uh, a South a South African company uh, is promoting sustainable protein alternatives with a pop-up restaurant serving only foods derived from insects. The Insect Experience, a pop-up located at the Good Food Hall in Cape Town, uh, features only menu items that use various edible insects as sources of protein. Insects, not insects. I got you. Oh, I thought you, okay. The the pop-up is is operated by Gourmet Grub, a company founded by food scientist Leah Besa, and her partners. The company offers Ento Milk, a milk alternative made from the black soldier fly. That sounds delicious. Pass. <laughs> as well as dairy free ice cream made from that same milk. How do you milk uh, a fly? <laughs> I don't know. Ask Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> How small is that machine? Yeah. <laughs> Whose dainty yeah. little hands yeah. have got to be in that job? <laughs> Milk and a fly, buddy. Uh, get uh, we, sort of, we sort of wanted to try and create a viable protein alternative that is sustainable and ethical and could really create quite a positive change going into the okay, future. Eat peas. According to peas have tons of protein. Exactly. Yeah. And you don't have to milk them. You don't have to milk them. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with almond milk? You have to right. involve the flies now. Yeah, Here's almond delicious. milk is delicious. I'm just yeah. I yeah. mean, it's... well, who knows? The black soldier fly. It did say black soldier fly. Yeah. <laughs> yep, black soldier fly milk might be delicious too. You never know. Don't knock it till you try it. Black exactly. soldier fly sounds exactly. like a, something from Magic: The Gathering. Yeah. I mean. Green eggs and ham. Yeah. That's green eggs. And... Yeah. <laughs> I'd much. That's rather... a whole other problem. <laughs> I'd rest, much rather milk a Spanish fly. Honestly. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hey, back to Pennsylvania. A Guinness World Record uh, was broken in a Pennsylvania town when a town when a wedding cookie table to go with the black soldier fly milk. 
A wedding cookie <laughs> table was set, <laughs> was set up with more than 50,000 cookies. Wow. A Guinness educa- adjudicator. I say that wrong every Agitator. time. Agitator. A- a- agitator. Agitator. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't get enough cookies. Uh, a Guinness ad- adjudicator uh, set up a table, <laughs> said the table set up Sunday at by the Monongahela. I'm going to get through Words. this eventually. <laughs> Monongahela Area Historical Society held more than 50,000 cookies, breaking the record for the world's largest wedding cookie table. The previous record, 18,000 cookies, was set up in Youngstown, Ohio in 2016. That's uh, a major jump. That's, yeah, that yeah. is. From 18 to 50,000. That's, mm-hmm. that's a lot. That's a lum- The Monongahela uh, Area that's Historical Society. Yeah, that's the Society. age range I have set on Twitter, 18 to 50,000. 18 000. to 50,000, <laughs> yeah. Hey, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Casting a wide net. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, Swiping left on this mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice T-Rex there on your profile. <laughs> Uh, the Monongahela uh, Area Historical Society set up the table as part of its celebration of the 250th anniversary of Mon- Monongahela's founding. The cookies were served at three, red- three weddings and three vow renewal uh, ceremonies on Sunday. So they, they didn't go to waste. That's good. 50,000 cookies for uh, three weddings and three vow renewals. Yeah. And yet the, the black soldier fly milk, nobody yeah, touched it for some reason. Say, nobody nobody drank The, the almond milk, milk yeah. was gone. Yeah. The, uh, well, you know, black soldier fly milk. That's really the only you save that for when you got like only all the only, only cookie you have is like nutter butters or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you don't waste, you don't really waste Yeah, you don't. Well, you know, yeah, you don't. You don't use it on a good cookie. No, 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 yeah, no. no. <laughs> See, I just wonder. You know, if my mother had had the black soldier fly milk in the fridge in the day, she would have mixed it with a gallon of actual milk and had two gallons of really crappy milk because <laughs> she did that. She had a friend that had goats, so she oh, got Lord. a gallon of goat milk. And mixed it with a gallon of regular milk because we weren't drinking the goat milk. So then you have two gallons of milk that smelled and tastes like urine. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, but yeah, goat cheese is delicious. Goat cheese is. Goat, goat cheese milk, is delicious. Not so much. Yeah. Goat meat. It depends. Right. On, it, depends on, it depends on how it's cooked. Yeah, it's a little gamey, but it's good. Uh, yeah. Well, because what what she did is she had somebody that had ground goat meat, and she did the same thing with the goat meat that she did with the goat milk, and huh. she mixed it in with regular <laughs> beef. So you had now two pounds of meat that no one wanted to eat. AKA okay, McDonald's. Tastes, yeah. I tried to. Now yeah. I will say the ex-wife was from Trinidad, and <laughs> down there they could stew some goat meat that was awesome. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> I had some goat chili. Uh, they could. Not, she not, couldn't. Not well, she couldn't cook. Go, or not, they got, not goat chili. Deer chili. Deer chili is pretty good. Oh, deer, deer venison is good meat. Oh, deer well. jerky yeah. is the best. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am hungry now. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't take much, but, you know. I mean, there is some jerky in the vending machine if you want some. Look, it's already <laughs> overpriced enough as it is at <laughs> a gas true, station. Yeah. yeah. An Austrian athlete broke a Guinness World back to Guinness World Records. Of again. course. Broke a Guinness World Record when he spent more than two hours wearing nothing but a swimsuit. In a box of ice. He's wearing Go a box yeah. of ice? He's, he's inside of a box box full um. of ice wearing nothing but a swimsuit. Just to clarify, the swimsuit okay. itself was Oh, so his whole box body box. was yes. inside yes. of the box. Yes. Okay, you said he was in yeah. a, Anyway, moving on. Which, honestly, <laughs> to me right now, that doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> <laughs> How are they sore, Don? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have to try. Yosef Kaburl. <clears throat> Bless you. <laughs> exactly. Spent a total two hours, eight minutes, and 47 seconds sub- submerged up to his shoulders in a box of ice in front of Vienna's. That's where they get Vienna sausage because they're smaller. In front of Vienna, Vienna's uh, main train station. The main vein train station. The wiener mobile? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On Saturday, to break the record of one hour, 53 minutes, and 10 seconds set by a Chinese athlete who saw no difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to burn for that oh. one. This too, is too, far, too far, Too <laughs> far. This is the day you get canceled. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Uh, by a Chinese athlete in 2014. We'll move on. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, Southern Poverty Law Center's on the line. Oh, yeah, way. absolutely. 
Uh, Cope Earl's uh, body temperature was monitored during the attempt, and he was examined by a medical team after emerging from the ice to ensure his uh, health had not been adversely affected. I'm glad nobody listens to this. When the guy. nurse approached him, the first thing he yeah. said was, not usually that small, yeah. just the ice. <laughs> yep. I was in the ice! It's the ice. Definitely the ice. <laughs> the athlete said he was inspired to go for the record after he spent an hour in a box of ice as part of a challenge on Austrian TV uh, Bar- Barbara Karlick show. Oh, yeah, uh, I, whatever inspires us. It got small because 10 inches of it went down the snake. That's true. That's true. He swallowed his Hold own Vienna to. sausage. <laughs> <sighs> Man, yeah. I've heard of compensating for having a small one, but yeah. that takes the cake. <laughs> yeah, that takes balls. <laughs> Yeah, that guy must have crazy pain tolerance. Because I remember, uh, like, uh, in high school, uh, I played football a little bit, and uh, after two days, they put you in a big bucket of ice, and you have to sit there for, like, five minutes and, like, regener- rejuvenate your muscles or something oh, wow, like that. Yeah. It's, like, super painful. Really? So, oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so for two hours, that's that's crazy. He must have been for that for a long time. This guy must yeah. have heard of the ice bucket challenge. Yeah, yeah, challenge. yeah he was just like extreme. Oh, he was an extreme ice like, bucket challenge. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Again white people yeah. come on <laughs> yeah yeah seriously <laughs> well don't uh don't professional wrestlers have to go through that uh some sort of ice training or something oh yeah i mean the stuff they Probably. have to do to keep oh, their yeah, muscles yeah. i mean the rock had that problem where like he, he basically wasn't and then like tore his muscles like crazy yeah yeah because that's that's a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff, lot yeah. of stuff. Right. A, gr- a group of scientists announced they have created vodka Okay. From, from ingredients found inside the Chernobyl exclusion zone wow. <laughs> and verified that it is safe to drink. Aww. So go ahead. Uh, well, guess what it's called? Radioactive. Radiation. Chernobyl. Atomic vodka. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was close. I'm a little disappointed. Yep. Come on. Yep. Atomic vodka was created by University of Portsmouth uh, scientists from grain and water from inside the inclu- exclusion zone as part of a three-year research project into the radioactivity of crops grown inside the 19-mile radius around the Chernobyl nucle- nuclear plant, which experienced a reactor explosion in 1986. Project leader Jim Smith told CNN, uh, 30 years on after the accident, we found we've... Huh? Man, <laughs> well, he must have been drinking that vodka before he was quoted. <laughs> 30 years on after the accident, we found was that... <laughs> Did you wow. run this through Google Translate or something? <laughs> it or? Must, yeah, it must have. Well, his name's Jim Smith. You'd think he'd be speaking some kind of English. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. <laughs> what do you got for us? Uh, 30 years after the accident, we found was that the area, the crops were slightly above the very cautious Ukrainian limit for consumption. So technically, you can't eat those crops, but we thought, well, we've got some grain. Why not? <laughs> Why don't we try making some vodka? I mean, you're not eating it, so yeah, yeah. You're in, you're in Russia. You got grain. You get vodka. That's just how it goes. Somebody told even Bert in Kreischer. Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I already don't drink vodka to begin with, but man, oh man, I I don't mind some good vodka. Man. I drink Stoli when I yeah. usually when I drink vodka, it's got to be Stoli because like Tito's Sky. Tito's. I, I I tried Tito's vodka once because I was at a bar that didn't have Stoli, and I'm not sold on Tito's. It just oh, does not. It, it, Stolichnaya is a is a Russian name. That's a good vodka. Yeah. Tito? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't want a Tito making my vodka because I'm. You I'm, know, I'm fancy. If I'm going to drink vodka, it's got to be Sky or you know something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried Sky. I did. I did good. try one called Outer Space Vodka, which yeah. was, which was really it was actually really good. Really? Yeah. It's not <laughs> like the Crystal Skull Vodka that's actually just in a fancy bottle, but it tastes like crap. No, yeah. the, the the Outer Space Vodka is in an alien head bottle, but it actually was good. Vodka and tequila do weird things to me. Really? Yeah. I can see the tequila. Tequila, tequila, you know. tequila and I are in an abusive relationship. It's weird. Yeah. I prefer my, my bourbon and my whiskey. Yeah. I like see. my dark liquors. I get wasted on Parrot Bay. That's, that's my <laughs> thing. I couldn't even touch vodka. I'd be... <laughs> Dancing on tables and getting tramp stamps. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, what do we? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's. Uh, Devin Rupert's idea of a, of a crazy night is Bud Light. Got a Florida and, woman with crabs. <laughs> that's right, man. <laughs> Bud Light Platinum. That's we're we're going crazy. <laughs> Why drink crappy beer when you can drink overpriced crappy beer? Exactly. Exactly. That's there's a lot of that going around. No kidding. 
At dusk across highways in southeastern Colorado, thousands of Oklahoma brown tarantulas are beginning their annual trek searching for mates. Uh, the hairy eight-legged beasts, about three inches long, migrate in large numbers near La Junta, Cal- La Junta, Colorado. The males are about 10 years old and only have one chance to mate with females who wait in burrows. Uh, in Colorado grasslands, said Whitney Cranshaw, entomology professor at Colorado State University. They'll be dead by cri- Christmas. Uh, that, that sounds like a threat to me. Uh, <laughs> and these tarantulas will be dead by Christmas. There's one now. Uh, Colorado's tarantula migrations beginning la- begin in late August and, uh, and last through September, with many crossing the Comanche National Grassland, especially along Highway 109. So if you want out and get, go out and catch us some uh, doomed tarantulas, man why they're tra- <laughs> yeah i don't know they're just I don't big know, hairy yeah. spiders yeah. I mean, it, but there's a bunch of them and they're all going to oh mate. great <laughs> they're, they're all going for their one chance to mate before they die by christmas that's like that's that's why waste that time sounds to- very familiar actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, I, if i don't get something by christmas <laughs> add that to the midlife crisis yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. perfect it's like absolutely it's like- it's like Full Metal Jacket. It's like if I'm gonna die for a word, yeah. it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be Moon Day. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, gotta get some by Christmas. <laughs> Jeez. It kind of scares me that there's tarantulas like in Oklahoma. It's a little bit too close for comfort because I, I imagine them being in like, I mean Oklahoma's not super close, but like. I imagine tarantulas being in like Southern California. Was it Oklahoma? Well, Texas. it's Colorado, but it's Oklahoma brown tarantula. Oh, it's in Colorado. That's even yeah. worse. Look, That's, you can't you yeah. can't put brown in front of the name of a spider. I mean, the last time we did that, we got brown recluse, and now they're yeah. mating with black widows. So we're all gonna die. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. That's that's never good. No, you don't want to mate with a black widow. I mean, come on, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, well, at least she eats them when she's done. So. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> I if, think, I'm if I'm gonna yeah. mate with a black widow, it's got to be Scarlett Johansson. I mean, you know, because you know. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, you got you, you, if you're going to spend it all at once, you might as yeah. well do right. it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got one more. Uh, this is more of a public service announcement. A West Coast restaurant chain announced is announced it is seeking a quote bacon intern to make one thousand dollars in a single day by taste testing bacon. All right, moving out west. Farmer Boys announced the opening of a dream job on its website, stipulating the applicants should use a photo or video on their Instagram accounts to explain why they would be best suited to the position. (laughs) The bacon intern would work only a single eight-hour day and receive $1,000 for their bacon-tasting services, the eatery said. Entries are being accepted through August 20th. So I'll just send up a picture of my gut and just be like, do you need more? (laughs) I mean, I'm pretty qualified. Come on. Yep, I got your bacon. You know what we do at Penzik uh, every year? We bacon? Have a, we, we have a, yeah, we do bacon. We have yeah, a exactly. bacon mimosa party where we just eat bacon and drink mimosas all morning. Oh, I was going to say, I haven't heard of a bacon mimosa. Yeah. I mean, they're doing bacon <laughs> donuts, so why not a bacon mimosa? That's that's I mean, a brunch I can get on board with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But uh, Anything bacon. Yeah, trust me, I know bacon. I'm all about all that. Right, all right. Well, you should sign up. Farmer Boys, go to their website and sign up. To yeah. Be bacon I'm, I should probably, I don't know, the, the, they need a new website. Yeah, other Type than farmer farmerboys.com. Boys. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. Makes you feel a little get. weird. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if you, that's I feel true. Like that's, one, that's probably why they did it. I feel like one typo. That's probably um, why they're doing this. They're they're going to get so much traffic on that that they're going to sell that to yeah. some porn company. I just, yeah, I, I don't, you know, is that, is that like an offshoot of farmersonly.com? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't yeah. make it on Farmers Only. We'll come try yeah. Farmer Boys. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the same sex alternative to Farmers <laughs> Only. It's <laughs> farmerboys.com. Farmer nice. Boys. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, well, I'm glad I could be here on your last show, Don. Yeah, well, you know, that's I was I was going good up until that Vienna sausage hit. <laughs> Guys, it has been so much fun doing this for over four and a half years, and you know, it's uh, I'm I'm so glad I got to end it out with you two. This it's been it's 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 been a treat, Mike. Thanks for coming in, guest co- and your guest co-hosting duties. Always love. Being You'll here. probably get some angry letters too. Uh, Ru- I, des- I deserve it. Oh, you're not oh, continuing. Yeah, absolutely, I'm just messing. Oh, because I, I, I got fired, saying. you know. As soon as this airs tomorrow, when people actually hear it, <laughs> Rupert Barrel House or not Barrel uh, House Barrel, yeah, eight fifty seven West Central in Springboro. Yep, August fifteenth, Thursday at eight thirty. Yep, fantastic show coming up. Uh, yeah, night after uh, tomorrow night. 
uh, day after tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, the Eight, day after tomorrow. This That's week, a terrible show, by the way. Or a right. terrible movie. Yeah, it's not, not a, a terrible movie. show. It's going to be a great show. Is it Luke Capasso's headlining? Yeah, yeah he's he's headlining. Um, a lot of other really funny people on there. Pretty good lineup. So yeah, should be should be awesome. I, I'm also doing a show with Ray Jackson on Saturday, but I can't remember the location. Um, so right. I was going to plug that, but it's like the Dayton Women's something. Downtown. Oh, okay. With Kevin Rupert uh, and Ray Jackson. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, I, just, I found out about it uh, today, so so that should be fun. But uh, yeah, something. Uh, check my Facebook page. Or something. All right, check it. Yeah, <laughs> check something of Rupert's. Just check yeah. whatever it is of Rupert's. <laughs> just check it. It might be on there. Right. All right. Well, thanks for coming in, uh, thanks, Patrick. Man. Get us the hell out of here. This has been a treat. Thanks for listening to the Life Radio Show podcast. Check it out wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, if you want to listen live, we are on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM. You can also stream the show live at WWSU1069.org, and we go Facebook Live at the Life Radio Show's Facebook page. If you have suggestions or comments, feel free to email the Life 1069 at gmail.com. Overwhelms me. A brutal presence. I am hungry now.